Hi, beautiful. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You probably are watching this if you purchased this online or bought it at the store. Just want to show you what it comes with. It comes with your acrylic liquid, your acrylic powder. It comes with your nail glue and nail tips. It does also come with nail forms, but we're going to use the tips today. So I put that to the side. It comes with nail primer and your orange wood stick, a buffer, and a nail file. And it also comes with your dappen dish and then your acrylic brush which comes in very handy. If you guys know, I do have another Kiss Acrylic video, but I used the smaller version of this kit. So this one does come with the Dappen Dish, the primer, and a larger brush, and also comes with the buffer and a larger nail file. So it's a little bit of an upgrade, but also very economical to do your nails at home. You also want to go ahead and get rid of that glue that keeps the shape of the brush. You want to get rid of that. So we're going to start with the orange wood stick. I'm going to use this to push the cuticle back, expose the new growth, and just to kind of help lift the dead skin off of the natural nail. And then once we're done with that, I'll come back and let you know what we're going to do next. So just like my last video, which you guys found very helpful, we're going to stick to only the products that comes with the kit so that this way, if you go to purchase it, you won't need anything other than maybe two or three things that you would already have at home, okay? Here I'm showing you with the file. It does have a 100 grit file, which is the more coarse side, and then a 180 grit side, which is a finer side. It doesn't say it on the file, but you'll be able to tell just by feeling it that there's one side that's a little more harsh and then the side that's not as harsh. You're gonna use the side that's finer on your natural nail. So I'm going around and what you wanna do is remove all of the shine from the natural nail and also get rid of the dead skin that's attached to your natural nail. Please keep in mind that this is an important step because anything that can get in the way of the acrylic binding to your natural nail will cause lifting and then your set isn't going to last. So you wanna go in carefully and gently and remove all of the natural shine and the dead skin and debris that's on your natural nail. And once we're done with that, we will move on to the next step. So once you're done with that, I'm going to go in with a manicure brush and dust all of the debris away. If you don't have a manicure brush, you can also use an old makeup wipe that is clean to dust away any dust and debris. 
Uh, I do show you some lymph-free wipes here that I have and some isopropyl alcohol. You should have these things at home, but if you don't have lymph-free wipes, you can also use paper towel. That will work perfectly fine. So we're gonna go in and this is gonna dehydrate the nail and eliminate any moisture or oils that you have on your natural nail. And again, this helps with the acrylic adhering to your natural nail a lot better. Now we're gonna go in with the tips and the glue. I did wanna make sure that the largest tip would fit his thumb. If you haven't noticed, this is my husband. So if you do have wider nail beds or larger nail beds, then these tips should work pretty well. You wanna make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall. And yes, just make sure they're not too small. If they don't fit exactly right, it's better to go a size bigger, just like I did on this one, because I went from the ring finger was, you know, a good size, and then as you can see, his middle finger is a lot wider, so I had to go like two, two sizes bigger <laughs> for his middle finger. So yeah, so once you're done with that, I take these scissors that I have here at home. You should have a pair of scissors. You can use some nail clippers, that's perfectly fine. But I go in and I cut half of that top part off the nail. It's the well, basically. And on my last video, I didn't do that. And if you, once you're done watching this video and you go back and you watch and see how, it was a struggle to use the file that the kit came with and also um, to file that much of the nail tip down to try to blend it. So I use this little hack, so it'll be helpful for you, okay? And then when you're applying the tip, you want to make sure that there are no bubbles or anything because moisture can get trapped underneath. And so I'm gonna let you watch. Again, I cut the well in half and then I apply. You can apply glue either to the tip of the nail or to the natural nail. You can put a little dot on there. Um, I do it both ways to show you, but yeah, you can do whatever um, works best for you. And then once we're done with that step, I will come back. I was barely able to get that biggest tip onto his thumb, but it worked out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the scissors, the same scissors, and I'm just gonna cut a little bit off of the nail tip. We're gonna try to keep them somewhat long. I don't know, this might be a little bit too long for some of you, but you're just gonna cut to your desired length. And then we're gonna go into file. Now, once the tip is on, you can use the more coarse side of the file on the tip. And you wanna make sure the file, when you're filing, is always parallel to the nail so that you keep a nice crisp shape. 
And then I go in, once I'm blending the tip into the natural nail, I always want to stay behind the plastic. So basically not touching the natural nail, but getting as close as possible. And this is how you get your blend. So you want to use the finer side to do that only because we are close to the natural nail. And then you will get a nice blend on your tip. And then here I do the same thing on all five fingers. You would do it on all 10 fingers, of course. So I make sure I shape everything, make sure everything nice and square and crisp. And then I go in and I blend and use the finer side so that I do not cause any damage to my natural nail. And then once you're done with that, we will move on to the next step. Now I'm going in really quickly with the buffer and I'm just going to buff the shine off of the nail tips. This is optional. I just do it because I feel like the acrylic could adhere better, but the acrylic will adhere whether you do this step or not. So it is optional. Now I'm going to go in with the primer and I'm going to do one coat in this case just because we are going to remove these nails once we're done. But if you do tend to um, lift and your nails do not last long, you may want to do two coats of primer before you apply acrylic. All right, so now we're going to get everything ready. I put my dappen dish down and we're going in with the acrylic powder and the acrylic liquid. I'm show you a little hack here. If you don't want to make a mess, just pour the liquid onto the brush first so that it can go into the dab and dish without making a mess. And in order to clean, I don't know if you guys remember it, obviously it had that glue to keep the shape on it. We kind of removed it with our nail. So now I'm going in and just cleaning a little bit with the monomer, making sure that it's saturated and good to go so that we don't have any problems during application. So now I'm going to go in and make sure all the bubbles are released and your brush is completely saturated and you dip your brush in, place on your nail and then you swipe down. And when you're swiping down, you want to be gentle because you don't want to remove the acrylic that you've applied on the nail. And I try to do a three ball method. You may end up needing to apply more beads but you just want to, you know, use your judgment and just look at the nail and see where you need more acrylic. And I just work my way up and then I try to keep it as thin as possible up by the cuticle because we're going to end up blending that and making it flush to the natural nail. So when you place your bead, you want to make sure that once you're releasing, you swipe side to side and then down on the center, making sure that you do not touch the skin. I'm angling the finger down so that it doesn't run back into the cuticle. And that basically helps with you not flooding the cuticle and getting the acrylic up on your skin or anything like that. My advice is to always start in 
the center of your nail when you're applying the acrylic beads just because that's where most of the strength should be you want your apex and your arch to be there because typically when we ding our nails um, that's where the stress area is is in that area where your apex is or underneath your apex so you want your highest point to be where I place that first bead so I kind of build that first to give it strength and then I work my way down to the tip sometimes up sometimes I, I start up at the um, cuticle but I work my way down and then I leave the cuticle area last so I work my way up I do it this way too with these because the brush is really small so there's only so much of the acrylic that you can pick up but as you guys see I dip in the monomer I swipe and then I dip the brush in and depending on how much acrylic or powder I want on the brush is how long I will leave it in the powder so if I just want a little bead I'm just gonna dab it in if I want a bigger bead then I'm gonna dip it and maybe count two seconds and then a a bigger bead than that would be like three seconds so here I'm going to add more monomer and I use the same method I did put a little bit too much in there but because you want some room to be able to swipe your brush oh very important is you do not see it here on camera but you want to make sure that you are swiping your brush every time you release your acrylic or you swipe your acrylic so here I put my bead down and as I'm swiping, you see I'm swiping it on the paper towel. You want to try to do that consistently. That's going to keep your brush from clumping up. I got a lot of questions about that last time. So just make sure that you are swiping your brush consistently and often so that your brush doesn't clump up because that will that will basically ruin everything. You won't be able to apply the acrylic. <laughs> so. Just keep that in mind and then once we're done with this step I will come back.
Right. This is also another very important step. So once you've finished applying all of the acrylic, you want to dip your brush in and get it nice and saturated and swipe. And I repeat that a few times, a couple times, and make sure I swipe and I get all of the built up or anything that might be in your brush. And then this way it'll keep its shape and it keeps it clean. I pour the excess monomer in the paper towel. I clean the Dappen dish. Then you want to fold this up, put it in a bag, a Ziploc bag, and then get rid of it so you can get rid of the smell. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the 100 grit side, which is the more coarse side. And you want to use that for shaping, making sure you keep your file nice and parallel to each section. Okay. And then I'm going to go, the, the reason to go up and down and over the nail with the 100 grit side is to even everything out. Because sometimes when we apply acrylic, it's very bumpy and lumpy. Um, I've gotten questions about that too. Just make sure you're going over, up and down. I will show you. I should show you here in a second, but... You want to make sure you go over the nail, making sure everything is nice and level. So right here, see? I'm making sure everything is even. And then as I get closer to the cuticle, as you saw, I switch sides and I use the finer side. And that's going to allow me to blend the acrylic so that it's flush. See, I showed you right there. I switch to the other side. I blend the acrylic so that it's flush to the natural nail and that's basically sealing the acrylic too and this also avoids lifting so it's very important that you blend that top part and you use the finer side of your file and then once you do that on all 10 nails and you will come back or I will come back once I'm done and then we'll go on to the next step
right, now that I'm done filing, making sure everything is nice, the shape is nice and crisp, we leveled everything out, make sure the nail is smooth, we sealed the acrylic up at the cuticle. Now I'm going in to make sure that everything is nice and smooth because when you do apply your polish, you're gonna be able to see all of the file lines in your nails. So this buffer comes in handy, okay? So we're gonna use this, smooth everything out, buff your nails, and this way it gives you the option to either leave them natural or you can polish them. If you have gel polish, you can use gel polish. If you have regular polish, just use regular polish. But yeah, so we're gonna buff them, make sure everything is nice and smooth. happy with how smooth the nails are they are nice and prepped for polish or to keep them just like this you want to oil them up wash your hands put some cuticle oil on but main thing is to dust all of that dust and debris off with your manicure brush or your old makeup brush clean makeup brush but yeah this is your end result so now you have your nails applied and these should last you two weeks if everything is done properly. And you can also use this kit to do your fills. It's nice and convenient. You can do your nails at home. And then I showed you an option here. I was like, okay, let's paint them so we could show them what they would look like if we painted them. Throw some jewels on there if you have some or glitter or anything you want. And that's it. You did it. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you're new, please subscribe. And if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you for always being here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.